My last videos talked about my list of normal testosterone levels for men in their 20s through 50s. This time, it's for men in their 60s. These are my numbers based on the gestalt of numbers from a number of different sources, and you will find these precise numbers nowhere else. As before, I will talk about the three main testosterone levels that we assess when evaluating you for low testosterone, as well as the sex hormone binding globulin, SHBG, and estradiol. My hormone levels for a man in his 60s are shown below. These numbers should include about 90% of the population and are expressed in the American and international units. And remember that your personal normal range will be narrower than the range seen below. One more thing is that many clinicians believe that there is no use in treating men in their 60s and over. After all, we're not going to extend their lives. I disagree. If we can keep our older men's muscle and bone strength, memories and drive, libido and erectile function, and sleep quality and healthy weight, then we are helping them to maintain a happier, healthier life even if we don't extend it. And I believe that is our job as physicians. So getting off my soapbox, my normal ranges for men in their 60s are, the American units include a total testosterone of 400 to 850 nanograms per deciliter, a free testosterone of 3.7 to 16.2 nanograms per deciliter, and a bioavailable testosterone of 150 to 280 nanograms per deciliter. The international units show a total testosterone of 13.9 to 29.5 nanomoles per liter, a free testosterone of 0.13 to 0.56 nanomoles per liter, and a bioavailable testosterone of 5.2 to 9.7 nanomoles per liter. For both, the SHBG would be normal at 15 to 55 nanomoles per liter, and the estradiol would be 15 to 50 picograms per milliliter, but I like to keep my patients' estradiols between 20 and 30. My next testosterone video will be for men in their 70s and older, so click the Schedule an Appointment button on my website at www.heliostelemedicine.com to see me if you live in Texas, New York, Florida, or Missouri and need help with weight loss or a men's hormone issue. I can consult informally with y'all if you live elsewhere, but I cannot be your physician or order labs or prescribe medications where I am not licensed. Thanks for your time and attention. Bye for now.